Welcome to the Career Source Pasco Hernando Professional eCourse Series. Each month, we offer a new topic to help you advance your understanding of the current workforce trends in the areas that can help you gain the confidence to successfully interview, set goals, communicating, and giving amazing customer service and much more. In this e-course, we will look at the importance of the SMART goal technique. We do this to help you as a job seeker to set goals that you can achieve. Now let's get started. Before we begin, ask yourself, what is currently or has held you back in the past from achieving your goals? Think about that as we go forward. How often do you set goals? How often do you revisit your list? We all know that setting goals is important, but we often don't realize how important they are as we continue to move through life. Goal setting and achievement does not have to be a real challenge or difficult. There are many benefits and advantages to having a set of goals to work toward. Setting goals helps trigger new behaviors, helps guide your focus, and helps you sustain that momentum in life. Did you know that 92% of New Year's goals fail? With such a high failure rate for a New Year's goal, it only seems fitting that the day-to-day -day goals would have the same failure rate. Goals should start at a time of change or a need for change. So many resolutions are set because it's tradition. Goals are your vision of what you would like for your future to look like. If you are setting a resolution for tradition's sake, then your motivation will be lacking compared to a goal set because of a need or a purpose. Experts say, expect obstacles. No matter how small or straightforward the goal is, there's always a chance for an obstacle. To keep your optimism, identify obstacles and create a plan to avoid barriers. This will reduce the possibility of setbacks or failure. They also say, set goals into challenging, measurable, but smaller chunks. Data shows that if you set a challenging goal, you'll be motivated to reach them. Goals that are measured will not only show your progress, but will inspire you when you, have, when you see the data. It also gives you a chance to celebrate small wins when you reach a milestone. Any celebration of a goal is a good thing. Where do SMART goals come from? George Dorn, Arthur Miller, and James Cunningham created SMART goals in their 1981 article there is a SMART method for writing, planning goals, and objectives. This is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. So why do we set goals? Well, goal setting can add value to the work that you're doing, help distribute the workload more evenly, allow you to assess your progress along the way, help you figure out how to move forward if you encounter a drawback. Manage your time more effectively, which can diminish burnout or needless work for you and your group. Goal setting is important so we know where we're going. And more importantly, how do we want to get there? This slide, we're going to look at the five parts of the SMART goal to help you get started with your action plan. Number one is the S. This is specific. You cannot simply say, I want to lose weight or stop smoking or get a job. That is very vague. You must be as detailed and specific as you can in the first step. Say, my goal is to lose 15 pounds so I can breathe and feel better. Or, I really want a job in this area because. Number two is the M, is measurable. Many people see a goal and they just jump right in and they're not really sure how they're knowing that they're making any progress. In this part, being measurable, you want to look at the smaller pieces along the way. So you hit little mini goals that help you know that you're on the right path to success. 
Give yourself small bite-sized goals to help you remain positive and move forward. Number three is the A. Is your goal attainable? Ask yourself, can I do this? We want to ask honest questions in the goal attainment. Can I do this? Unless you are wanting to land on the moon, most goals are very attainable and achievable. The R goes along with attainable in the sense that is it relevant or realistic? Is it realistic to say, I want to go to the moon? That might be a dream, but as far as a goal, very few of us have the resources to even think about that. So we want the goal to be realistic. I want a job or a new career path in this field because I need to make more money because my family is growing or I need to do this. So we have an actual realistic goal for why we want to do this. And then five is the T, which is time. We cannot simply say, I want to, or someday I will, or I will start when it's just perfect and everything's right. We must have a real start and projected end date before we even start. Example, this is how school is conducted. You have four years, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. Along the way, in each class, you have semesters or quarters. Those are broken up by classes, which are broken up by each daily assignment. So along the way, you're getting your grade and you're attaining your credits for the end, which is in four years, to graduate. If you think of all your goal setting in this way, how can I break it up into smaller pieces? How can I set a time for when I want to achieve certain things? It takes a lot of the fear and anxiety out of trying to achieve that goal. This is why it's a SMART goal. In this last part, is one that I believe is probably more important than the first five. This is the V or the vision. You have to actually see yourself achieving this goal. Where are you going to be? How is it going to feel? How excited is it going to make you to know that you actually reached that milestone? Vision, consistency, and adaptability are all equally as important as the first five parts of the SMART goal. While having a vision with goal achievement is crucial, it's equally important to remain adaptable. As we all know, life is unpredictable and circumstances change. Your vision should remain constant, but your approach and the goals that you need to adjust along the way, your little mini goals, should be flexible. This will allow you to keep moving without getting frustrated. Another really important part is accountability and support. Many times we want to start a goal we just say, hey, I'm doing this, and nobody really backs you up. You also want to be accountable to yourself. Make it a point to go after something each day. Maybe it's a resource. Maybe you're having to come to our office at CareerSource to talk to somebody about a resume or job searching. Maybe it's a training course such as this to help you gain the skills that you need to achieve your goal. Sharing your vision and goals with trusted individuals can provide an extra layer of accountability and support. Whether it's a mentor, a colleague, or a friend, having someone who understands your aspirations can help you stay on track and motivated. As we close out this e-course, take a few minutes to list what it is you want to change or accomplish in the next 30 days or less. Remember, to be as detailed in your answer as you can be. Next, make a list of the action steps you feel you need to do and list all the resources you currently have. Next, follow that list up with what resources you feel you need and who can help you. As you gain more help, write down your measurable steps. Remember to continue to see yourself in that goal. Visualize your success. At Career Source Pasco Hernando, we are always here to assist you as best we can. You can find us in Newport Ritchie at 4440 Grand Boulevard. The Brooksville office is now located at 16228 Spring Hill Drive in Spring Hill. And our Dade City office can be found at 15000 
Country Drive Suite 303 in the Dade City Business Center. We're open Monday to Friday, 8 to 5 p.m., unless otherwise noted. Good luck and contact us with anything that you may need in regards to job searching, careers, and training. We're here to help you. Thank you.